Hey there, YouTubers. So wanted to chat with you all. I have a bunch of Z690 motherboards. Um, and so one of the things that is I'm finding very odd. Let's go up here to system information. So we have the i7-13700K. One of the two Asus Prime Z690P motherboards I have. This is the Wi-Fi D4 one. The Z690P D5 has the same exact issues as this. If you go to advanced, normally you are able to adjust this stuff right here. I cannot change that at all. Can't change the active performance cores or the active efficiency cores. Can't do it down here. No changes can be made. Now when I run this benchmark, and I'll spare you guys from watching that, it does achieve a max processor frequency of 5.26 in this nice CPU temp of 67 degrees. The score, though, is about half, more than half of what it should be. If I come over here and do this in Cinebench R20, this score is significantly less than what I would get from an i5-13600KF. Now, this one was overclocked, but regardless, this is, score is significantly less. So I'm not really sure, folks, what is the problem here. Um, you know, this I thought was a pretty good solid motherboard, and the uh, Z690P D5 was pretty solid. The only thing that's nice about this is the, uh, the temperature of the CPU, but you can tell there's something fishy going on with it. The other thing that jumps out, folks, if you saw my benchmark video uh, where we tried to push the i7-3700K or i7-13700K. It was using about, I believe it was 280 watts. And I'll just, um, let's clear this out and show you. I'll run Cinebench R20, which uses more power. And we'll come back here. Actually, I'll pop both these up here so you can see. Um, there is no power limit throttling, no thermal limit throttling, obviously. VR temps, VRM temps never get very high. That's kind of surprising. Now, when I, I haven't stuck the CPU in my ASRock Z690, um, I think it's a Phantom Gaming one. So that potentially is, is the spot where it needs to go next. But uh, that was my least favorite motherboard I was thinking to put the i7-13700K into. So the temps, you know, will get a little warmer in Cinebench. But you see the wattage significantly less. And the score significantly less. So uh, curious if anybody else is having problems with uh, this CPU and this mo these motherboards. Um, no problem with the i5. 13600K, but uh, definitely an issue here with this i7. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.